So guys, here you can see. So I'm going to be doing something different this time. You will see. I'm going to use this amperage, this inverter to power this charger, and I'm going to use this charger to charge this battery at the same time with the charge controller to power this other inverter. You will see how it, how it works. Right now, there is no current flowing from this battery. Yes, the capacitor is what is working here. Let me see. You can see this voltage is not from the battery, it's direct from the capacitor. You can see the connection from the charge controller here to this capacitor here. See the capacitor powering it. There's nothing to do with the battery. You can see the positive and the negative wire from the, to the charge controller. You can see it's only connected to here and here which is just the capacitor this is the capacitor system you can see it here watch Has nothing to do with the battery. Is the capac is the capacitor powering it? Power the capacitor is one doing the work. Because the way is below thirteen point five, it will trigger release, and that release voltage will recharge the capacitor again. You can see it's going higher and higher. So what are we saying? I'll be using this system. You see. Just capacitor without the use of batteries. The battery is disconnected. You can see the current of this battery is only going to this inverter. The inverter is powering this charger. The charger now is doing the work of the solar panel here to the charge controller. And charge controller instead of charging the battery, is charging the oh shit, it's charging the capacitor. The capacitor now will trigger a release to the charge controller. And the charge controller now will be the one to power this inverter. Watch, look at the draw. You see? Then watch, I will connect the bulb inside now. You see? Different. Okay, watch. 100 watts, 60 watts. You can see it here. You see? But I'm going to connect it here now. Now you will see. Can see it will keep rising and rising to 13.8. Just keep looking, watch the charge controller. You can see, look at how many amps is just is drawing. Is the one powering this inverter? Just this capacitor here has nothing to do with the battery. You can see it has nothing to do with the battery. The battery is just connected, connected here. The capacitor is the one triggering the release here in the charge controller. 13.9 you can see the voltage just keep rising now we are drawing 14.7 amps so now we'll be connecting this 100 watt now let's see how many amps we'll be drawing from the solar panel you can see it will keep rising so see there's no voltage, there's no draw. There will be no, no, it will not trigger any more release except there's a draw from the inputs. Then the capacitor begin. the capacitor is a 16 volt capacitor, 16 volt capacitor. So when they say trigger in the release in the voltage, a reduce in the voltage, the capacitor will draw from 16 volt up to 13.8. Then the panel, the charge controller will trigger release from the output voltage to charge the capacitor back. Now let's change this bulb. Okay. Now the 100 watt bulb is there. Now watch the voltage. You see? Watch. Let me let me do it again so you will see. You see? You can see? The voltage is very high. You see? The controller is see you see passing voltage here, but 
the capacitor uh, yes is back you see the body will keep getting keep rising up to 13.9 now let's see how many amps 8.3 amps and the 100 watt is drained from the inverter then this inverter from the capacitor just the capacitor is the one powering this thing so melt the melt the melt the rubber okay you can see 14.1 the more draw from the input the more higher the output will be you can see it will keep triggering a release in the output voltage then the output voltage here will power the charge controller the charge controller now will be sending the coin back to just this capacitor here this capacitor is the one doing all the works powering the bulb holy shit it's getting too hot i see smoke i see smoke and it's burning oh it's burning it you see 12 13 keep eyeing keep going higher you see it's a very fantastic discovery that means there's a means of energy storage this shows us that we can charge we can store energy without the use of a battery all we just need is a capacitor you can see here just an ordinary capacitor it's not a super capacitor you can see just a capacitor a 2200 uf microphone 2200 uf yes a 16 volts and there are six in number just this six has enough power to figure it easy i'm just gonna melt this rubber oh shit let's see just this we keep the water we keep dropping we keep dropping to 13.8 then when they say release in the voltage in the current, like if I trigger a release in the current, you will see there will be a draw. It, instead for the capacitor to run out of voltage or current to fall to low, I mean, it will only keep getting higher and higher. I hope you understand. The capacitor here just you can see is drawing nothing now from the panel, which there's no solar panel here. We are just using a DC to DC converter. And the battery powering the inverter then this working as a solar panel power the charge controller then the charge controller now power the 16 volt capacitor then i tap another current from there and give me an output if there's any draw from here the draw will only increase the voltage we trigger a release which will only increase the voltage so what are we going to do now let's see you can see the voltage from the capacitor here. Let me put it away so you can see it. Okay. You see? So there's no battery. That sound you just heard is a trigger from the charge controller. The release from the charge controller. And the voltage will keep going higher from 13 volts to 14.2. You can see how useful this project is. If we on it again, you can see 13.8, right? If we draw, there will be a draw. Let me connect the bulb first so you can see it. Okay, watch now. Watch. Wait. Wait. Let me connect it again. Yes, yes, it keep rising and rising. In fact, I'll draw. Look at the draw. Yes. The battery, you can see. Okay, there was a bridge here. So, that's for today. Bye. See.